morning everybody this is Don and Deb downtown Gaylord on the 45th parallel in the Alpine Village and we just thought we would stop and take a little video of our ice tree and uh, it's looking pretty good actually so I'm gonna kind of go up here and try to get a little bit closer it is pretty icy down below you can see the water squirting out at the top so I'm gonna try to hand the, I'm gonna hand the camera to Deb and she's gonna try to take a little video of me okay Deb if I can get up the end of there a little bit okay you ready Looking up closer because it's pretty cool looking. You can hear the water running inside it. You can kind of see right up there. It's huge. I do this is solid ice right down here so hope I don't fall oh there we go that's a pretty cool shot with the wow the water must be running from the top I can see it way up there and uh Somebody uh, wrote me one day and asked why, or suggested that we make a nice tree in our front yard. And I told them that we, uh... okay, I'm gonna, here's Deb, she's probably not gonna, okay, Deb, okay, there's Deb, ooh, yeah, Deb's participating today. Okay, thanks, Deb. Okay, you guys, now we're gonna go see the elk. Okay, hope you're having a great Sunday. And uh, we'll catch you here in a little bit. Okay, we're back. Now we're at the elk, seeing the elk. And uh, all the ladies are over here just sitting around relaxing. And uh, we got a couple little ones here kind of trying to buck horns. Kind of see them a little bit, but they're kind of hiding. Well, they probably spotted us. But I don't see the big ones. I don't see the big ones yet, so they must be over in another spot. So we'll go over there and try it. So, Deb, if you want to uh, just take a quick video of me, just right here with them in the background. It's nippy out, the wind's cold, the sun's shining, so that's nice. Okay, we'll go see if we can find the big dogs. Okay, see you in a couple minutes, everybody. Yeah, Don's outside letting you see the big snow piles. Here's where some of our snow from our parking lots goes. And this is piled up all the way back in this field, so this is just the edge of it. So, there's, uh, there's taller piles in other places. Normally, 
I would uh, climb that hill for you and entertain you, but nah. There's a couple more of them down at the other end, but we uh, couldn't really see a whole group of them, so let me see, maybe there's one on the other side here. Uh, yeah, there's one, and but not too many. This guy's got kind of some issues with his antlers, because he's kind of missing one. So something happened there. So, not too exciting today. But anyway, we're kind of giving you a little update. This is where Deb and I go a lot when we go out for lunch. We just stop and park and watch and see the elk. And it's relaxing and it's fun to be out in the sunshine. And so, we'll uh, catch you later, everybody. festival is here and their stage is over there and a lot of activities go on here in our pavilion so it's a very nice gathering spot in Gaylord and I think that should about do that little clip here we are at, out at our at Seagull Lake looking down towards the state park and uh, got a few snowmobiles going by today but most of them probably Sunday afternoon they're loaded up and heading back but and we got a few people ice fishing but uh, just thought it'd be a nice day to have and I go for a little ride just kind of give you a little variety of things to look at and we uh, know you're probably getting a little tired of seeing the plow and the tractor project day after day and week after week so we'll try to uh, take a little break from that uh, just letting you know that I did do uh, painting I painted the rims again on the uh, for the 4020 and I did get the trash boards done got them on so I am kind of puttering a little bit so we're uh, just kind of goofing off today and so I hope you're having a great Sunday, everybody. And uh, think positive. Hang in there. We'll uh, talk to you later. Here we are at uh, another tourist destination when they come to the Gaylord. It's uh, called Call the Wild. And we got go-karts and putt-putt golf. And we um, always come here with uh, Nicole and Bill and Tarek. And, we always golf and ride the go karts. And then over here is the gift shop. And uh, we always go in there and usually get a few little souvenirs for the kids. And uh, they got a lot of stuffed animals. And they have a, uh, a museum where you can uh, walk through it. And there's like stuffed, stuffed animals. Maybe I'd say. 40 or 50 of them and they've got them all on nice displays and it's a pretty nice little place to to stop and visit if you're in Gaylord and uh, it's uh, been here for a long time it used to be out south of town and it was called the underground forest and they built and they had built it in under a part of a, a mountain and it was, yeah, was kind of cool to, to go there but anyway that's call of the wild you guys so we'll catch you later
Okay guys, we're pulling in now to the Alpine Chocolate House, the kitchen. We, uh, we've been friends with the owner of the Alpine Chocolate House for over 30 years. Bruce moved here the same year we did. And uh, we've done a lot of stuff with Bruce. And he's the one we rode in the, the ship with. And here's a couple of his vans. And we helped Bruce set up uh, his Boeing's fitness store. And we uh, stopped in when he was setting up the, the store up at the Sioux Locks. And we actually came in here two or three times when they were setting up the kitchen. So here's the kitchen. And uh, Bruce just announced this week that he's going to be making his own ice cream for the very first time. He makes chocolate covered baguette chips and uh, his own caramel corn. And he does an excellent job. He's uh, got about, I think, 30 employees or 40 employees. So he uh, definitely pulling his pulling his load, keeping people working. So that was the that's the old Alpine kitchen where all the all the goodies are being made. So okay, we'll catch you later.